Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Sorry I've been a bit MIA, I've had exams and it's literally just taken my life and my eyebrows look like a complete mess. I can't even say to you guys how bad I look. Um, but thankfully it's all over now and I'm back to film you guys a Valentine's Day look. We are doing a pinky purple glam. Um, we're going a bit soft on the eyes and heavy on the lips. So this way if you guys are going out in the daytime, you can switch the lips to like a nude colour and still keep the eye makeup that I'm going to show you or keep darker lips and you can go out with this look in the night time. So the makeup is pretty much all switchable to day and night and we're going to do a cute little hair tutorial, something simple. I've literally just had my hair cut as well so um, we're just going to do something fun and easy, um, not too much um, difficulty. And yeah, if you guys want to see how I'm going to create this look then please keep watching. So first up I'm using um, the NYX Pore Filler Primer. Um, my sister actually bought this yesterday and I want to try it out because I bought a couple of other primers but if this is good I really want to um, buy it as well. I'm just dabbing this on with my fingers and putting it on my face. Next in I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I bought this I think three days ago and I've absolutely loved it. I've worn it every day. The colour matches me perfectly and the finish is like really nice. I would say it's good for people, um, I could say probably all skin types, but I have quite um, combination skin and this has settled really well on my skin. I'm loving it. I'm just using my Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush. And next I'm going to go in with my contour. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in medium. Um, this is, I actually really like it. It's a nice consistency. I remember when it first came out, loads of people were like, oh, I prefer the powder, la la la. But I feel like since then, like it's become more popular basically. I'm going to go for this colour as my under eye. And I'm going to be using the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in chestnut. I'm pretty sure, um, this doesn't contain chestnut, it contains colours similar to chestnut, I just feel like it's easier to apply with the foundation stick but obviously if you buy the cream contour kit you can probably use one of the colours in here. And then I'm grabbing my damp beauty blender and dabbing it in here. Next time I'm going to do my eyebrows, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. It looks like this, and I'm using this Revlon brush. It's I think it's an eyeliner brush, um, but it's like double-ended. You can use it for eye, eyeliner or eyebrows. It is the by far the best eyebrow brush that I have, tongue twister. And um, I just love it. I feel like it applies it much better. I've tried the Real Techniques one, and I just found the brush head too thick. Whereas this is perfect if you want to kind of draw the thin line at the bottom. It's really, really good. I really like it. So next time I'm going to be doing my eyes. To prime my eyes, I'm going to be using... Ooh, um, I'm going to be using the Instant Anti-Age Eye Eraser um, Concealer by Maybelline. Um, I used to use this as my concealer, I still do sometimes, it's just running low, but it's a good eyeshadow primer as well. Um, but before I apply that, I just want to show you guys, I just bought the um, Zoeva brush set, the Luxe brush set, complete set, um, it was 15 pieces. These are the eyeshadow brushes from the set that I'm going to be using, and it kind of came in this bag. i still got some of the other brushes in here. Um, it came with... These are the other ones. So the look that I'm going to be doing is like a pur purpley smoked out, not too smoky though, um, pink eyes, um, so purple pink. But I'm going to start with this palette, which is the Christmas in New York palette limited edition one by Too Faced. It's basically the chocolate, it's like a variation of the chocolate shop palette, so you can probably use shades in the chocolate shop palette as well. Um, this was from Sephora. Um, I'm going to be going in with the shade Chocoholic and I'm just going to be putting that into my crease and I'm going to be doing that with Lux 
Soft Crease Brush um, by Zoeva. And I'm just putting the tiniest bit and I'm just gonna, it's just like as a transition. The second palette that I'm using in combination to create this look is the Revolution palette. Um, I mentioned this in my previous makeup tutorial video, um, I think it was the New Year's Eve one, um, that I got this for £10 and it was crazy because it was 144 um, Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette Collection for 2017. Um, so it must be still available if it's for 2017 and it is like crazy that all the colours that are available in here are so pretty. I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. Same kind of brush. You have to be really patient and just blend it out really nicely. So um, next with the Soft Definer, Luxe Soft Definer 227 brush, I'm going to be grabbing a more um, browny colour and mixing it with um, the purple, to mix with the purple just to kind of smoke it out better. And I'm going to be going in with like this kind of browny gold. I'm going to go back in with the um, Luxe Soft Crease and I'm just going to be blending it all out. I've not applied anything else on top. And um, to go in on the eyelid now, I'm going to be using Pound Cake. Um, it's like a really gorgeous pinkish shimmer. I'm using a flat brush. This is the Luxe Smoky Shader. I'm just blending it all out again with the soft crease brush. I'm going to be grabbing, it's basically a blush, but I'm going to be using it as an eyeshadow because powder is powder. Um, it's chocolate covered strawberry and I'm just going to use that to pat gently over the eyelid in the gold colour. And then I'm just going to be going in with the purple again into the crease just to make sure that I haven't lost that definition. For my inner tear duct, I'm just grabbing this gold shade and I'm going to be putting it right here in the centre of my eye. You can do this with your highlighter as well. So this completes my eyeshadow. Um, now that my eyeshadow is complete, you just slowly dab like this. If you have any fallout, you can do it with a loose powder, but I like to draw a straight line right across from my eye crease to the end of my eye and it just kind of helps to make that whole thing look neat. And then I'm going to be going in with my gel eyeliner. It is the um, Maybelline New York colour in black gel liner. So next up I'm going to be doing my eyes. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded. Um, Rimmel Scandalize, the orange one, the classic one, is my absolute favourite mascara for the past um, two and a half years. I've tried other ones and nothing for me it works better than this. But I'm going to be using false eyelashes as well, just to create a dramatic look. If you're going out in the daytime, um, if you want, you could skip um, the false lashes and you can just skip, and um, you can just use mascara instead. But I'm going to be using this, and it's the Eyelaw Dramatic Number Two Two. So I always put the glue on my lashes first, and I love to leave it to dry for a bit so that the glue gets tacky. I leave it to dry for about a minute and a half, and while that's happening, I do my mascara. Next up is more of like my powdering part of my routine. So um, I'm basically going to get bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose with it. Um, I'm using the Rimmel Sun Bronze um, Natural Bronzer. Next up I'm grabbing the Collections Sheer Nose Powder. This is a translucent powder. It's actually really affordable. I think it's like three or four pounds from Superdrug or Boots and I literally just dab this over my face and it kind of sets my makeup, makes sure it doesn't move um, and I have quite oily t-zone so this kind of ensures that my face doesn't get all oily um, for at least a few hours. And so next up I'm going to bronze my face. I'm going to be using the same natural bronzer by Rimmel in the colour Sun Bronze. 
and I'm using this Real Techniques brush which I absolutely love for bronzing. I even use it for blush. It's really, really good. And then for blush, I'm going back in with the Christmas in New York palette and I'm going to be using this gorgeous chocolate covered strawberry again. I'm then I'm grabbing my highlighter, which is the True Match Highlight by L'Oreal Paris. <laughs> I just grab it on the end of my finger and then I'm just going to put it straight down my nose, the bridge of my nose. And then I'm just going to dab it here across my cheekbone, just like this. This isn't really like a crazy highlighter, it's an illuminator. Um, some people mix this in with their foundation, but I like it just for a subtle glow. Sometimes you don't want a crazy glow, you don't want to go full on with the highlighter, especially when my eyes are so dramatic anyway. I'm going in with Obsession. Um, this is by Rimmel London. I love Rimmel lip liners. I think that for a high street brand, the quality of their lip liners is so good. The colour range that they have is so nice. I pretty much have all the colours. So I just grabbed East End Snob by Rimmel and I'm just going to swatch it for you guys so you can see. It's like a really, really pretty pink colour. And I think that it would be perfect with this look for a daytime thing without the lashes. Um, so if you guys are going out in the daytime, you're going on a cute date, or you're just going out with your girlfriends. Um, it will look fab. So this is the end result of the makeup. Um, I hope you guys like it and I'm going to be showing you guys um, the hair now. I would say I would do something simple, so tie it up and curl the ends out and make it all pretty. Um, so if you guys want to see them please keep watching. So, I'm not too fussed about it being perfect because sometimes I feel like um, for some styles when your hair isn't perfect it looks even nicer. So I'm literally just grabbing a section of my hair and I'm going to be tying it up. I'm just tying my hair up. This is going to be like the um, foundation of our hairstyle. So let me show you how much I've done from the back. So this is how much I've done from the back. And I've got the rest of it still out. And then I'm going to grab my hair straightener and I'm just going to be curling the ends of my hair. So I'm grabbing my hair straightener. This is the Coriolis straightener. Um, my family have been using this hair straightener since I was six. Um, the C2 version and it's incredible. We've had GHDs that have died in a year. I don't think that their quality is as good as this. I think this is incredible. Um, we had one that ha we've had since I was like six and I'm now almost 21 and my sisters have taken it to Latvia so we bought this like a few years back. Um, so I'm going to be using that and I'm just going to be grabbing sections of my hair and I'm only curling the bottom bits of it. So my hair's in three sections. We've got the bit that's in the bubble. We've got this bit on um, my right and this part on my left that's not been tied up. So what I do is I grab one section from underneath, a small section, and then I push the rest to the back. I could probably split this in half because it's quite big. And then I grab the hair straightener, I put my hair inside it, I'm probably about this low down. When I press the hair straightener down, I twist it inwards towards myself and then I curl downwards. You want to be going down at a constant pace. And that's one of them. And then you do another one and you repeat this for the whole thing. I pull it forward again and I grab another section. I tend to grab them underneath first because it helps to get the tougher part of it out the way. So for my front piece, I'm going to be doing it a bit different. I'm going to be doing it from a bit further up. So I'm going to grab it and 
and then I'm going to get the hair straightener and I'm, this time instead of twisting it towards me, I'm twisting it out. With these two bits, I'm just going to do it the same way that I did before. I'm going to do it towards me for about halfway down. So after you've curled an entire section, so like I've curled this section, I'm going to grab my hairspray. My hairspray is by Aussie. It's the Miracle Volume hair, Volume Plus Hold Hairspray. I love everything Aussie, but I've never tried the hairspray before, so I'm trying it out now for the first time. Hold it from about an arm's length. It smells incredible. And just spray it well to make sure that it holds for you all night. And then the last left bit that's left to do is the top bit. Obviously, it's already been tied up, so it's really easy. You just want to do the same thing, but this time you want to do a curl from all the way up the top. And I'm pushing the curl outwards, so I'm pushing the hair behind me when I'm curling it. Okay, and then for the last part of the hair, all you have to do is grab the Aussie Miracle Beach Waves. It's basically a sea salt kind of spray. And I'm going to put this into the bottom bits where the curls are. So this is it. If you guys have a sea salt spray, you can use that as well. I bought this from Superdrug as well the other day. I've never tried it before. But I have tried sea salt spray before and I love it. It gives texture. And it smells incredible. Anything Aussie. Next, I'm grabbing my hairbrush. Oh, it's got a bit of hair in it. It's the um, Tangle Teaser Ultra. This is incredible. If any of you guys have um, curly hair or hair that gets really easily knotted, this brush gets out all of your knots without any pain, by the way. Um, I'm using it now just as a powder brush to brush through my curls. But I'm just gonna wait for the, um, for the salt spray to dry. And this is the final look. This is the result of the hair and makeup. I hope you guys have loved it um, as much as I've loved filming it. I hope you guys have an incredible Valentine's Day, spending it with people that you love, whether it be a partner or family, um, and I hope you have a great time. So if you liked this video, please make sure to um, like it down below, um, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like as well. I would love to see what you guys have to say.